signature blonde hair, curvy figure, and a bubbly, charming personality. Anna Nicole Smith was all set to be the Marilyn Monroe of the 1990s. So how did she go from a broke 18-year-old single mother to becoming a supermodel appearing on the cover pages of top fashion magazines? Stay tuned, because we'll reveal that and much more in just a few seconds. But before we start the video, do take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are actually subscribed. It makes our day to see our efforts being appreciated. Enjoy the video. A high school dropout. Anna Nicole Smith was born November 28, 1967 in Mexia, Texas. Her real name was Vicki Lynn Hogan. Anna suffered through a tough childhood. She belonged to a very poor family. She often didn't have enough to eat and had to wear flannel pajamas under her clothes as they couldn't afford heating in the house. Now, it's no surprise under the circumstances that Anna did not do too well in school. She failed her freshman year and dropped out of school in her sophomore year at the age of 14. She left home and started living with her maternal aunt. Married at 17, single mom by 18. After dropping out of high school, Anna worked at a local fried chicken restaurant, Jim's Crispy Fried Chicken. There she met Billy Wayne Smith, who also used to work at the restaurant as a cook. They dated for two years and got married April 4, 1985. Anna was 17 years old at the time. Her son, Daniel Wayne Smith, was born from this marriage on January 22, 1986. However, the couple separated the same year, and Anna left Mexia with her son and went to Houston. The couple officially divorced in 1993. Breast Augmentation Surgeries As a young adult, Anna did not have the curves or body that she desired. She was made painfully aware of this fact when she danced in the gentlemen's clubs, struggling to secure a living for herself and her son. She started saving up for breast augmentation surgeries to enhance her figure. While she got her ideal body, the surgeries gave her a lifetime of discomfort and back pain, for which she had to take constant pain medications. One Playmate of the Year in 1993 In Houston, Anna worked all sorts of odd jobs to provide for herself and her infant son. That included working at Walmart, Red Lobster, and various gentlemen's clubs. In 1991, Anna's then-boyfriend, Clay Spires, asked her to try auditioning for Playboy. She sent some of her pictures into a Playboy magazine scout, and soon she was posing for the Playboy centerfold as Vicki Smith. In 1993, she was selected as the Playmate of the Year. Rise to Fame Through Modeling After her photo shoot with Playboy magazine, many new opportunities found their way to the beautiful, glamorous model. She was the choice to replace supermodel Claudia Schiffer in a Guess Jeans ad campaign after Claudia's contract ended. It was during this ad campaign that she adopted the stage name Anna Nicole. In 1993, she modeled for the Swedish clothing company H&M. In 93, she was also featured on the cover of Marie Claire and GQ magazine. Her success in modeling got her a few acting roles too, but she was not able to establish herself as an actress. Anna Nicole appeared in a few movies like The Hudsucker Proxy, Naked Gun 33 and a Third, To the Limit, and Skyscraper. Marriage with 89-year-old oil tycoon. Anna Nicole Smith met J. Howard Marshall in one of the clubs she used to perform in much before she started her modeling career. Call it luck that Anna was not selected for the nighttime performances so she did the daytime shifts, and Marshall could not stay out at night due to health issues, so he came to that particular club during the day. Anna says he looked lonely, so she decided to go and talk to him, which led to the beginning of their relationship. Marshall proposed to Anna often, but she kept declining, saying she wanted to make it on her own. She knew she would be called a gold digger if she married the oil tycoon. However, after becoming a successful model and a semi-successful actress, she finally said yes. Howard Marshall and Anna Nicole Smith got married June 1994. Marshall was 89 years old at the time. Anna was 26. They had an age difference of about 63 years between the two. Unfortunately, 13 months after their marriage, Howard Marshall died of stomach cancer in August 1995 at the age of 90. An ugly court battle for her share of the inheritance. The death of Howard Marshall was also the start 
of the downfall of the beautiful model, Anna Nicole Smith. It turned out she had not been included in the will of her late husband. Anna, who had been promised a lifetime of financial security for herself and her son, was suddenly deprived of it. She went to court to fight for her right to her share of inheritance in her late husband's plethora of wealth against her stepson, E. Pierce Marshall. She maintained that Howard had verbally promised her half of his estate, even if he could not include her in his will due to his deteriorating health issues. The case went on for decades, even after Anna Nicole and Pierce Marshall both passed away. Their respective estates followed through with the case, the court finally ruling in favor of the Marshall estate in 2011. Her own reality show, The Anna Nicole Show. After the death of her husband, Anna Nicole faced some tough times. Her career came to a standstill as she was branded a gold digger and other unpleasant terms in Hollywood. The case for her inheritance was going nowhere, and in the midst of all that, she also struggled with weight gain and pain medications. In 2002, she had been in gossip tabloids enough that she was offered her own reality show by E! by the name of The Anna Nicole Show. Now, the show was supposed to follow Anna through her daily activities. It premiered in August 2002, achieving the highest cable rating for a reality show. However, the popularity of the show went down quick. It was sad and painfully obvious to see Anna Nicole was heavily medicated and was mostly supported and guided by her attorney. The ratings of the show kept declining and the show finally got canceled in June 2003. The last episode of the Anna Nicole show premiered in October 2004. Death of her 20-year-old son Anna Nicole became a mother for the second time September 7, 2006 with the birth of her daughter, Danny Lynn Hope Marshall Stern. Her son, 20-year-old Daniel Wayne Smith, flew over to visit his mom and his baby sister in the hospital. However, Anna Nicole found her son passed out on her bed when she woke up. She realized he wasn't breathing and called for help. It was declared that her son was dead. It was later confirmed that Daniel suffered an accidental drug overdose. The death of her beloved son left Anna devastated. Throughout her life, her son had been the most important person in her life. Anna's long-term attorney and boyfriend recounted that Anna was an emotional wreck at Daniel's funeral. She tried to climb into the coffin and screamed to be buried with her son. He commented that Anna emotionally died the day her son died. Death of Anna Nicole Smith February 8, 2007, Anna Nicole Smith was found lifeless in her hotel room at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. She was only 39 years old at the time of her death. The cause of death was announced as an accidental drug overdose by the authorities. Anna, who had been a regular user of painkillers and antidepressants, had taken nine different medications that day as she had been fighting an infection. She was survived by her infant daughter, Danny Lynn Stern. Did you like these facts about Anna Nicole Smith? Also, are there some other celebrities you want to know more about? Tell us in the comments, and we're going to try to do our best to bring that video for you as soon as possible. Till then, you can check out a few of the other videos on our channel. See you soon.